It's Andrea. Okay, so I'm up in the wee hours of the morning getting this header made for the the five day, right now it's called the five day content creation challenge, and I'm realizing that the headline probably, as I, if I decide to do these again, there's a juicier way to say that, but we're going to see how this one transpires and let people give feedback and stuff, and that'll help create the, it'll help uh, hone the the headline. Anyway, um, what I wanted to show you right quick was how easy it is to make art pieces if you're not super, if you don't get super bogged down in the in the in the enormity of it all, like you're creating your brand piece or whatever. Um, art helps people to, and colors and things help people to know they're in the right place, like they're in the right place continuously throughout all of your different platforms. I'm actually in the process right now of getting my daughter, I don't know if I'm in the process, I'm hoping that she'll take action soon on um, making like some uniformity across all of my platforms, which is part of what we're doing in the mastermind, um, which this is actually a part of. So this is like the front end. This five-day course is the front end of um, this five-day challenge is the front end of a mastermind a section of the, my annual mastermind so we did a couple other topics and this third one is about content so um, what I decided to do was to have this challenge like to springboard us into that and maybe invite some other people along if they decide to like the vibe and all so back to the point here um, because I decided this kind of like on the fly after doing a challenge last week with um, with Helen Pritchard um, about LinkedIn like getting your sea legs on LinkedIn um, all of the components are like you know madly as I'm realizing they need to be in place they're getting put in place more or less this one I actually kind of ran out of steam so this is Monday morning 6 a.m. when I'm supposed to be, you can, maybe you can hear the rooster. Um, I, sh I should already have had this done. Like next time I'll have all of this stuff in place because I'll know what needs to happen. But meanwhile, you can do this stuff by the seat of your pants if you're sort of determined to just sort of keep chopping away at it. So to create a design on Canva, so this is canva.com. I do pretty much all of my, um, my art construction you know my my graphics work and on Canva anymore. I used to use you know fancy programs and whatever. I literally use their free program here um, for almost everything. And part of it's because it's just really fast, and part of it's because it looked really good. And um, anyway, I wanted to show you this. So what I'm what I did is I've already got it. I've got it here on this other tab. But um, what I did is I, I clicked Create Design because you actually end up on like their home page and it brings you to this page and then I click custom dimensions because the Facebook uh, cover art for groups it changes from time to time so you have to look up and see what what dimensions it's supposed to be uh, it turns out it's currently 1640 by 859 now what I'm gonna do when I go in and put it into the group if it looks not um, uh, uh, what's it called focused enough you know how sometimes things will get spread out and look a little grainy uh, this was the minimum size that I found is is current for 2019 um, but if it looks a little grainy or whatever what I can do is come back in here and click on this little lock button and make this a much larger number and this lock feature um, creates the scale it keeps the scale the same so it doesn't get stretched or you know, as I change this number, the second number will um, will change. You see, so it's staying to scale and and making the pixels much more fine, so that when it goes into wherever it's going to go, it'll render more clearly. But for now, I tried the 1640 by whatever that was, and um, I came up with this, and looks pretty good, right? So all I did. I literally did not design this. I, I went, they have these templates on the side here and they 
most most of the ones at the top will be free and then down lower they'll have ones that you're um, prompted to pay a dollar for or something. I've never used any of the paid ones, although there's no reason not to, except that there hasn't been a reason to because there's always a one in the in the free ones. And I literally scrolled down and I considered this one, but I'm, I'm not a fan of orange. And I'm actually not even a fan of yellow, but it seems to keep coming up and I know that it'll stand out for people. Um, I'm, I, I guess I should say I'm not a fan of yellow in clothing in particular. So I know like, so I have this idea that, oh, I don't like yellow because I don't like yellow clothing, but I might not mind this. This is kind of like bumblebee standout. I didn't want to go with like a pinky pinky color because that's the color that Helen just used and I want to stand I want to I want to model her but I don't want to uncomfortably copy her right behind you know I don't want to I wanted to stand I want to be freestanding from that and um, we'll see what colors we end up Alita and I end up with for my personal branding I think it'll probably be more a tealy purpley cooler color but who knows anyway I ended up with this yellow one because as I scrolled down, so like I considered this one because I really like purple. Um, and maybe when you get to the group, this is the one that'll be in there. But I think I'll just roll with this one because it's, I did it fast and you have to let yourself let things be good enough to go rolling with and, and you know, uh, update as you go later. So maybe the next one will be a different color. I probably should just make myself do that. Um, but anyway, I scrolled down, and this one had fruit and stuff, and that wasn't quite right. And this one, I wanted not to be an image. I wanted it to be a graphic that just, you know, is clear for people to know they know where they are. And I came to this one, and look, it says creative writing. So the first one, this is what it said to begin with, creative writing 101, learn all of the basics. And so I, I took out this apply now, and I changed this part to my name. And I typed in this part. So I literally, this used to say Creative Writing 101 right here. And I just highlighted it and wrote what I wanted it to say. So now it's done. And I can, um, I have two choices. I can click here and download it, which is fine. But what I tend to do is, um, Let's see, I click, if I click here and download it, PNG is the, the finest, um, the finest uh, quality, like the finest, it's made for printing, uh, like physical printing, so it's a, it's a high quality uh, graphic. Um, and I'm going to download it. And they're asking me other stuff. I'm just going to close that as soon as my computer lets me. Oh, it doesn't matter. So you just want to make sure you put this somewhere that you know where it's going to land, either in downloads or in documents. I, I'm on a Mac, so if this looks unfamiliar, that's what's up. Um, and I click Save. I'm on my desktop, I think. Um, but what, what instead of, um, for Facebook in particular, well, let's do it this way. I, I was going to show you how I take, I usually screen grab a picture instead of like working with the file and trying to upload and find it again. Um, but let me show you what you can do with Facebook is, so the file's down here on my screen now, right? If I close, click upload photo, oh no, it's going to make me do it this way. Okay, well anyway, if you know where you put it, you can grab it this way. So I'm just going to do it this way and see what it looks like. It looks decent. So if, um, if it was off center somehow, I could drag to reposition apparently, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to save it and maybe roll with this. It's a little black. So I have to sit with things sometimes for a minute and figure out if I feel like it's going to work. I might go with the purple. <laughs> I might just not be able to handle yellow. But anyway, this is what you this is what you do. You go to Canva and you give yourself maybe a, a, a timer or something. You get something that's good enough and will serve the purpose and uh, just get it done. Okay. Alrighty. Hope that helps.
and um, with you making your, your own graphics, they have templates. If you go to the home page, I'll go back to the home page and show you. So you, you're on the home page. You see where the home page is. If you start on the home page, there's a, a, a prompt. I think it says create, create, yeah. This is actually a whole new interface for them. I'm not sure what this would bring you, but you can you can try their search engine here. Um, oh, see, you don't even have to click here. The whole this whole thing is right here, so you could click custom dimensions here on the side if you knew what size you need it to be. Uh, but also, if you're let's say you're making a Facebook post, they have already pre pre created sizes of things. Um, so this square one is more for um, like Instagram or something. This is a little bit shorter for Facebook. This is, I think, the cover art for um, your profile. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but you see, oh no, here, so, so this one's for Instagram. This is if you're making a blog. So they, they're guiding you for um they're guiding you for where, you know, the, they're making an effort to have the dimensions right. But if you need to do custom dimensions, don't hesitate to go here and then pick a template or even start from scratch. You can upload your own pictures or whatever. Okay, I hope that helps you with your own graphics across all these various and sundry platforms. It can get a little confusing, but if you just sort of buckle down and um, use Google to search for the sizes, if you don't know the size, you can you can just search for the size and generally someone will have done an article that has that information in it uh, and then you know create something that's consistent across platforms and it what the effect that it has is that it gives the people coming to your space the impression that you're everywhere number one which you kind of are but not exactly I mean your graphics are everywhere but that you're and it gives them some continuity so they aren't getting lost as they travel between these platforms. So I'm going to put one. I am have I actually have made a list. Facebook page, my, my page, my Instagram, my YouTube, the website, which is not complete for doing business as yourself. Um, LinkedIn and some podcast art are the things that I have Alita working on. So we'll see how it turns out. Okay, I'm going to let you go. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you again sometime in the very near future. Have a good one.